Hello Aquarius, what's going on? I hope you're doing very well. Uh, my name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And we're going to do a reading for June, a little cheeky bonus reading for uh, Aquarius for June, but you know it's uh, timeless. You are very welcome here Aquarius, thank you so much for being here with me, I appreciate it very much. Um, hopefully the reading will resonate with you and you'll enjoy it and all that good stuff. And if that is the case, and uh, you feel called to like and subscribe for me, I would appreciate that very much as well. So, okay, let's see who, whoa, okay. If the hermit has just popped out so you can be dealing with a Virgo, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, who is coming towards Aquarius? Okay, you have the King of Swords, so you could be dealing with another air sign. Um, you also have the King of Pentacles wanting to come out. So this person could be a mix of Earth and air. So that would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? You also have the King of Wands trying to come out here. So this person could be a mix. Or you could have three people. Let's see where this is going. I feel like this came out in a pick a card reading the other day. Like the exact three cards here, King of Swords, King of Pentacles, King of Wands. Something's coming in very fast with this um, Knight of Swords energy here. Someone's moving very fast. Okay. What else for Aquarius, please? The candle just made the weirdest like blubbering noise. That was so weird. You have the King of Swords with the Queen of Swords here. You have the Two of Wands. Someone's been thinking about coming in to make you this offer. <clears throat> That's a lot of cards. Let's get one more for that top row. Ten of Swords. So there may have been an ending with this person or they've been through some kind of ending and you have the Nine of Wands here so yeah, there's been some kind of ending. I don't know if this is between you two or they've experienced some kind of ending, but someone got their feelings hurt, okay? With the Nine of Wands. Clarify the King of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. You have the King of Wands. The Nine of Cups. Okay, you have um, the Knight of Swords with the Tower. Something's gonna happen very fast. Like there's some kind of, yeah, like some kind of fast movement forward that's gonna change everything. And it's gonna lead to union because you have the Seven of Pentacles here, which is like things have been taking a long time, right? It could be someone was saving up money. I feel this person has this king of pentacles, whoever they are, has been restricted because of money, is what I want to say. Someone has been like saving up money. Um, and you have the six of swords and the two of cups here. So this is, like, th this is union, okay? There's some kind of fast movement that leads to union. And with the six of swords, I don't know if this is like someone from your past that you're coming out of a Five of Swords situation with. Like, you know, you've both not in a, been in a great place in the relationship, um, or it's just in general, like it's moving into a happier place, but there's union here because it looks like with the Nine of Wands in reverse, someone's not hurt anymore or someone has worked through their hurt feelings. Um, but clarify the Two of Wands. Page of Wands. And you have the Seven of Cups in reverse. And clarify that Ten of Swords. Okay, so this could be someone here. Um, oh, that's uh, so interesting that you have the Seven of Cups. Um, 
with the ace of cups look oh my gosh you see what just came out look the emperor and the empress this is like a divine counterpart coming in here you also have the seven of swords which we're gonna check that out um you see the seven of cups with the ace of cups see here in the middle sorry let me just shove it in your face so that it will focus this see this one in the middle that i always see that as the ace of cups right so They only want you. This is someone here, they were indecisive and I feel like maybe it was like they they weren't sure what they wanted. Maybe they had, maybe, I don't want to say they were entertaining other people, but it could have been they, they weren't sure they wanted to settle down, but now they really are. They really, really are, okay? They're, they're very, very sure that it's just you that they want, okay? Um, Yeah, they've made their choice and it's, it's you. They've been deciding, like, see with the page of wands here, um, they might also live a little further away, this person. So they're deciding what to say, <laughs> okay? This person has been, yeah, they're trying to figure out what to say because they want to send you a message, but they're, they're trying to craft it, like HP Lovecraft perfect per, like writing perfection you know this and they're gonna come in really fast okay this person's been watching you king of wands they could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius like very good looking kind of more of a dominant energy like you know alpha male alpha female like motivational speakers you know a leader manager own their own business something like this uh again sometimes the king of wands can be from a different place they don't have to be, but they've been watching you and you are their wish fulfillment, okay? I feel like there's something here to do with the money. Because you have this king of pentacles and the eight of swords. This person could have quite a broad chart. Like they might have, you know, when you look at your big three, it's like the rising, the sun, and like the Venus or the moon, like whatever you want to say is more important. They could have very different signs. Like one of it could be an air sign. The other could be earth and the other could be fire. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So they might be like very well-rounded. You might see a lot of different sides to this person. What is this eight of swords? I also think they might be stubborn. There is a very, very strong mental connection between the two of you, like the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Uh, I can't remember what's that, what that's called. It's like when you're attracted to someone because they're smart. There's a word for it. Um, but this is, yeah, you stimulate each other mentally. And I think, I think you're both very attractive. Like they find you very physically attractive and all that stuff. And I do think with the Emperor and the Empress here, it's the divine couple. This is like your counterpart. But there's a very, very strong mental connection. I think you're both very smart. See, Aquarius need that though. You know, Aquarius need someone that can mentally stimulate them. So they might have, like the, that might be the air placement somewhere that makes you really enjoy talking to this person. You know, because it's the, the 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 swords is it's like very smart, like witty, a good back and forth. They're well versed on a lot of topics, so you can talk to them about lots of different interesting things. You know, but sometimes that can also get in the way. You know, because it can be, you you know, you're almost too smart for your own good, like an overthinker. So you both may have overthought this connection, and you have the eight of swords with the sudden wealth card in reverse. Uh, I feel like this person, maybe when you met, was a bit skin. Because um, they might have earth prominently in their chart, so they may have felt like they couldn't move forward until they got money for some of you. Like, that won't apply to all of you, obviously. Like, I do always say this, it might not apply so much if you're like a man dealing with a woman, right? But, like, this person may be, you know, the king of pentacles can be very traditional. They may feel like they have to be a provider for you because you also have the privileged lady card just came out. So you are a wish fulfillment for this person and they want to be able to like spoil you, you know, for some of you, like give you nice things. 
treat you nice <laughs> but they felt like they didn't have enough money to do that before so i think they've also been away saving up their pennies um i'm not gonna pull any more cards from that because i don't feel like i need to yeah you have gift here as well though and you have wealthy man so they could definitely could have a little taurus in their chart this person but um uh, you know they they want to they might be very wealthy king of pentacles is usually pretty well off because they're good with money is the thing like they either have a, like a well-paying job or they're a good little saver um like i don't not materialistic but you know money is important to earth signs they like to be stable you know which i can completely understand like everybody likes to be you know I think a lot of people like to be stable, but it's like they want to be able to spoil you. Like they want to be able to come in as like this wealthy man um, or wealthy woman and like spoil you. So looks like you're gonna get spoiled here, Aquarius. Um, yeah, definitely your divine counterpart here with the emperor and the empress. I also think this person may have thought you were a little too good to be true at first. Okay, clarify this. Uh, okay, there's something here. The seven, okay, they may have been in the past. See, they're showing up as this king of wands here, um, but they may have shown up as a, a knight of wands in, in the past, which is like more immature in and out, flaky, more of a player energy, they didn't know what they wanted. And with the seven of swords and the moon, they may have not been completely transparent with you before. Like, see with the seven of cups, like I'm not saying that they had, you know, other bitches on the go or like other guys on the go, but, um, they may have just been not very forthcoming with you about like, they maybe, maybe they didn't know what they wanted you know, and they were just, I think they had some stuff to work through, but the thing is they're showing up as the king of wands now, you know, they're not showing up as this immature, like, oh, I'm flaky, I don't know what I want, do I want to settle down, I don't know, do I want to sow my wild oats, I don't know, now they're like, no, I want to be with Aquarius, <laughs> like, I know what I want, and it's Aquarius, like, Aquarius has everything I want, it's the mental connection that is really pulling this person towards you, because see, the King of Wands, uh, you know, they're very charming. Um, he or she is very charming. So, how do I put this? Um, I'm sure that they've, and I'm sure you're the same. Like, maybe they, you know, they don't care so much about, about the looks. It's the mental stimulation in this connection that they really going for and I'm not saying that you're not attractive okay because with the, the emperor and the empress you are each other's perfect physical specimen as well like they, you know they find you to be like very handsome very beautiful whatever it is like very attractive you know with the with these two cards like you got the whole package you get the goods um but it's the mental simulation because they may have not found that in a lot of other places before right because you can get I don't know, you can get people who are like really pretty, you know, or like really handsome, but like what's the point if you can't hold a conversation with them? That's what this person's coming from, you know? Um, that's what they really, really, that's what keeps bringing them back to you. And I think it's the same for you because you have the King and the Queen of Swords. So you're also very attractive, but it's like the mental connection that keeps you both coming back. What is the Seven of Swords? Hello. Oh, you have courthouse. What? What? What is the Seven of Swords, please? Despair. What is the Seven of Swords? They're definitely coming in for a new beginning here. Coming very coming in very quickly for a new beginning. What is the seven of swords? I 
feel like maybe that I don't know if there was something else going on in their man or woman theater, but the Seven of Swords could just be that they weren't completely transparent with you. Like they may have kind of had a, bit, a little bit of that player energy going on or something before. Um, but they're not, that's not who they're showing up as now, okay? I don't think they want to be single anymore. You know, I just saw the Nine of Swords in reverse. Like, I don't think this person wants to be single anymore. And there is something about the money. There was some kind of money issue that had to be balanced with this person. Um, let's do this deck. I don't know if I'm feeling that deck. Let's try this one. I hate being apart from you, so it's definitely someone that you already know that's missing you, spying on you. <laughs> I think it's taken a really long time for you guys to get together. You may have been apart for a long time. You have there's no one else here at the bottom of the deck as well. So if you've been wondering if this person has someone else on the go, they do not. person's in love with you. <laughs> okay, um, what would this person like to say to Aquarius? What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> um, what would this person like to say to Aquarius? You are so hot. So this person thinks you are really, really attractive. Just in case there was any doubt in your mind, um, what else would this person like to say to Aquarius? You are an earth angel. I see marriage and children with you. So they're not just trying to hit it and quit it, okay? And you also have there's no one else. See, there's just, even if like at the time, cause I kind of feel like they may have had a little bit of player energy or they just didn't know what they wanted. Like maybe they thought they wanted uh, to play the field or they wanted to keep their options open, but they don't, okay? They, they know now that they don't wanna do that. It's only you, baby. You have, you already know them. Leveling up for you. Yeah, they've been away saving money. Hello. Don't rush in, take your time. This person's very slow moving. There's someone else. I don't feel like that was meant to come out. I'm gonna put that back, see if it comes out again. Um, they might wonder if you, oh, well, there it is again. They might wonder if you have someone else because they're saying there's no one else. Um, what else would this person like to say? Let me love you. So they, they're like wanting to come in and have this new beginning with you. Money and legal problems. Oh, that's what this third party, that's why there's someone else is here, okay? Uh, you also have, I just saw the marriage card, okay? This person wants to marry you. I think you're gonna be shocked to hear this because they may have never told you because the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles, so you don't have any emotions here, right? You have all the Kings, like the Swords, you have the Pentacles, the Wands, there's no King of Cups. So this person is someone who sucks at expressing emotions, so they probably haven't told you anything about this, but they want to marry you, like they want to provide for you, like for those of you that that would apply to, that, you know, like live with you, have children with you. That's the third party. When you have, there's someone else and you have money and legal problems, that's what was getting in the way here. But I just think, I, I think it may have been a little bit of pride with this person because um, with the King of Pentacles, sometimes they can be very stubborn, you know? Yeah, they're very slow, very slow moving. And um, let's get one more. What else would this person like to say to Aquarius? This person has been hurt in the past. Oh. babies in the future. This person really wants to have children with you, okay? And I know that's not gonna apply to everyone, okay? You just have to take what resonates, right? Um, 
And I know it's like a full moon, so emotions are running high, okay? But please don't shout at me in the comments because I can't, I can't cope, Aquarius. Um, I bruise like a piece of old fruit, okay? I'm gonna get one more from this because there's a gap here and it's bothering me. This person, I, I think you've maybe been a little hurt in the past. Maybe it was this person who hurt you, I don't know. But they're aware that you've been hurt and they, they're like, let me in, let me in, let me in. <laughs> let me love you. Yep, that's the card that I'm taking because I just saw it. Yep, let yourself be loved again. That's the theme here. It's like, let me love you, let me in, let me in. I miss you, let me love you. So I don't know if it was this person who hurt you or like I said, it was someone else, but this person wants to love you. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple from this deck to close down the reading. Four of Wands. This person's coming in to offer you like commitment, like moving in together. See, the thing is, you already know this person, so it could be that they're literally gonna come in and like ask you to move in together. Um, you know, but it's they're gonna come in and offer you commitment. You have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. They really love being around you because you're fun. And I think part of, like a big part of that is you're funny because the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords is that mental connection and smart people are funny. You know, there's like that back and forth, that wit. So that's one of the reasons they really love you. The Hierophant, I promise to be faithful now and forever. That's a marriage card. The King of Swords, uh, I restrain my feelings for you, but please know I do care. Yeah, they haven't told you about this money stuff. That is, they're just not good <laughs> at talking about emotions. They haven't told you how they felt. Um, and you have the Ace of Wands here as well. They're very, very physically attracted to you. Like there's lots and lots of passion here because that um, King of Wands, is sitting, like the Ace of Wands is on top of the King of Wands, so there's like, they're a very passionate person, like very fiery, very like high, you know, mm -mm, drive. Um, and you, you really, they're very physically attracted to you. Okay, and they also, you, you like inspire this person as well. But it's not a hit and it's not a hit it and quit it thing. Like they want to marry you, you know, or they want to like be with you forever. Although honestly, Aquarius, like if you don't want to get married, I don't know, there's a lot in this reading about marriage. Um, you have the four of wands, my love, you're my happily ever after. See, they've never told you this, but they're in love with you. Like they want to marry you, live with you. Look, the 10 of cups. <laughs> Our family means so much to me. This person wants a life with you. They want to build a home. You know, the Ten of Cups is like emotional fulfillment. This is marriage. This is having a family. And you have the Ace of Swords here as well. It took me a while to understand, but now I get you. So you have the Ace of Wands with the Ace of Swords. So there's, um, oh, look, the Ace of Pentacles here. Hold out your hand. I have something for you, which I always think sounds vaguely dirty. Let's get one more to make it even. Um, I, on, on a random note, like I was watching this interview like years ago about David Beckham and he said like he has a like OCD and he, I remember Victoria Beckham saying like, I don't know why I was watching this, um, like if there's an uneven number of cans of coke in the fridge, he'll just throw one away. It's like, can you imagine being that rich that you would just throw away a can of Coke because it wasn't even? It's like, can you not just take it out of the fridge and put it in the cupboard? Like, what's wrong with you? Don't, don't, sorry, Aquarius, the camera cut me off in the middle of my weird rant. So you have the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. So they're coming in to make you a very stable offer. Like they want to build something solid with you, you know? Um, they're very attracted to you physically, they're very attracted to you mentally. They want to build something solid and you have the Three of Swords. I'm sorry for the pain. I hope someday we'll be together again. So I do feel like there's been, you know, you guys have 
had your issues here okay but that is your reading Aquarius I hope you found it useful thank you so much for watching um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that I would appreciate it a lot and as always I wish you many blessings love and light take care